What up, I'm buddy, and welcome to another episode of Bully. Today, I'm starting you, I'm a new week. I'm going to see start how fighting it is when I play around. Oh, you fell. Let's go fight. Take the dirt! Alright, right. You can't mess with me. Let's go do this, chat. Chat the cheese. Do this. Bunch of thieving <laughs> jerks. What's up, Melvin? Ah, greetings. Mm. Jimmy, listen, some ruffians took it upon okay, themselves okay. to steal my okay. grottos and gremlins character sheets and won't return them. We're playing tonight. The whole situation is untenable. Grottos and gremlins? Boy, you are sad. Sad? I'm distraught. Role playing is the high point of human achievement. In fact, upon reflection, I am prepared to offer a bag of groats to the fair knight. Whomsoever recovers these precious screens. Do you accept the quest? Yes. How much? Ten groats. Ten groats? What? I mean ten bucks. Wait here. All right. And you can have your pick of my wenches. No, 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 no. Not those. Only ten groats or maybe. All right, you've got something of Melvin's. Give it up. All right, I'll give it to you if you beat my friend in a little game. He kicks you in the nuts, and you kick him in the nuts until one of you gives up. If you win, then you get the sheep. If not, we keep. That's just stupid. Maybe, but I go first. <laughs> oh, That's some funny stuff, you right? You win, I give up. Let's get out of here. Wonder why no one picked this up. See you later. Got the push. Actually, gonna be two missions. Help Gary, and then Russell in the hole. There you are. Come on, I found something incredible. Yeah, Hold yeah. on, relax, man. I can't keep getting in trouble. I can't get expelled again. <laughs> it's always about me with you. Me, me, me. I'm thinking bigger 
picture and you're worrying about getting into trouble? You know what? You really are something. What bigger picture? I'm, uh, we are gonna take over the school. We are not taking over anything right now. Time and tide wait for no man, my friend. But it seems they do wait for a wannabe tough guy who's nothing but a little girl. You're full of it. So you keep telling me. Look, now come on. I promise you, after this, things are never going to be the same again. Oh, I'm so excited. I should have stopped taking those pills ages ago. Yeah, right. What Whatever you say, okay. Gary. I'm a genius. Geniuses don't need medication. Right, so I'm gonna take over those three. Hey, take out the three boys over here. Scuzz bucket. So, yeah, I'm guessing I'm gonna shoot him. Alright. Oh, oh, Jesus, he's in the hospital. Amazing. Right here. Separates the men from the boys, the wheat from the chaff, and all that nonsense. Okay, so what's that got to do with standing up to people, keeping them in line? This is where I stand up to you, my friend. What are you talking about? I know you hate me, Jimmy boy. I know you said all that stuff about me behind my back. What are you talking about? Don't play innocent with me. You want to run this school? I want to run this school. Only one of us is going to make it. And it's going to be me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and morons, I give you Russell. Oh man, me Russell. Gary, now I, I know Russell. Go beat that little jerk who said that nasty stuff to me about your mom and those barnyard animals. Uh, what? Come here. Russell want vengeance. And we're about to get pound now. Yeah. Oh, 
So this is the first boss in chapter one. Friends? You and me. I've taken dumps that had more brains than you, friend. No. I'm taking over this school. And you're just a liability. What? See you around, moron. Dumbass sucker. Well done, Jimmy. Yeah, great. What a waste of time. You all right, Russell? Oh. Yeah? Look, I never said anything about your mom or farmyard animals. You did it? No, but I want you to stop bullying weak kids. Why? Ah, because there are a bunch of kids around this place who need a beating, and you're picking on the few who don't. So I want you to leave me and him alone. Oh, okay. Sorry. Bad Russell. Yeah, think about what you did, sucker. With Russell pacified, I could be forgiven so for thinking my troubles at Bullworth were over. But this place is a rotten onion. Peel off one stinking layer, and there's another even the smellier one beneath. Finally. Well, Jimmy, word on the street is you're something of a pugilist. No, sir, I never pugilized in my life. Really? And that you've been saying some entertaining things about me and some barnyard animals? No, I never said that. Well, I listen to things, Hopkins. You try and stay out of trouble. Now go see the cook down in the kitchen. Helping her might teach you some humility. Okay, sir. Yes. Hey, new kid. You're that guy that beat up Russell. So, what's it to you? Yeah. Hey, listen, we like to box the noble art and all that. Why don't you come down by our gym in old Bullworth Vale? We should definitely hang out. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about you. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. 